Fellow Spartans, hello and welcome to part 8 of the English Let's Play for Total War Medieval 2. I nearly got that wrong then. But here we go, yes, we're back. We're back. We've taken Dublin. We've secured the British Isles now. So we're now in a much stronger position. And we now can turn our attention to the continent, to the borders beyond in Europe. Make sure I'm pronouncing that right. Someone said they seem to be, when I say Europe, they say it seems to think I say dupe. Or Europe or something like that, but hopefully that's right now. Europe. So yes, we're going to be pushing into the continent in this episode and beyond. So we have now got and secured the British Isles, as I say, and now we can push on our frontiers. Now we have taken Dublin. We've got rid of the Scots. The Scots are no more. The faction is destroyed. So uh, that was a turning point of the last episode. So now we can we can push on and draw attentions elsewhere. Um, Francis of Ulcester, uh, I believe, someone very kindly pointed out, it is loyalty. Of course, okay, so the man perceives loyalty as a trait of the weak and foolish, so he's not very loyal at all at the moment. He was our new captain. He was a captain that we fought, so he commanded the last battle uh, over there against the rebels. Uh, we then, after the battle, after his success, we then promoted him to a general. Unfortunately, at the moment, as I say, you wouldn't think this, but his loyalty is very poor. So, someone said to push him into Carnarvon. Hopefully, that will then increase his loyalty to then uh, be able to use him effectively in battle going forward. So, I'm going to do that next turn. So, put him into there. There we go. Um, King Robert. The successor at Dublin is going to come down here to uh, support the effort of the push uh, into, as I say, Europe over here. Um, so here we're doing that. Um, and look at this. On, Prince Henry, the factionaire of England. The new... Well, yeah, he was. He was new prince of England after the death of King Rufus in Scotland. He is now the future king, the factionaire of this England, this kingdom of England. And look at him. Look at him. His command is fantastic. His loyalty is fantastic. His piety and dread are okay. They could probably get a bit stronger. But look at his command. And he's only 24. He's a dreaded father. Has he got, actually got, has he got a, a son? Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. It's, it's his dreaded father was, his, was obviously, yes, was War and the Conqueror. So that's why he's uh, got a dreaded father, of course. So... Look at that. A future king of England with that potential at 24. Wow. We should have a strong king going forward. Uh, we should change the course of history, hopefully, with this guy. Uh, probably Henry I, which will obviously be known as. So, yes, Henry, Prince Henry the Wrathful. 24 and a fantastic command ability. Definitely our best general. And he's going to be used to take out Captain Morka next uh, turn. As uh, we try to buy him off with our dignitary, but it didn't work. He rejected me. So I'm going to take Don John Dane. What an English name that is. John Dane. I'm going to take him across. And he's going to spy on the troops here and see what he can do. Come on, John. Give me your best shot. Oh, and I can all cut scene. I haven't seen one of these cut scenes for a while now. Come on, John. Find some uh, armor to disguise yourself with. Ah, yes. Looking good, John. Oh, nice. Get your headgear sorted out, though. Come on. Yes, right, John. Do me the task I've asked you to do. Go for it, my friend. Right, okay. Pikes, yeah, fine. Armored sergeants. Another pike unit, and then feudal knights. Okay, that's not too bad. Don't see that one again, John. We're happy with that. Trade increase. Ah, good stuff. So that's given some ability increases. Excellent. He could be our new head spy going forward. Um, and, yeah, so that's where we are, guys. Now, I'm going to try and bring across yes, Christopher no. St. Albans. What <laughs> These names. I mean, that's what I love about Medieval 2. Some of the names are fantastic. Uh, very apt for the time. Obviously, you'd always, you know, very larger than life characters or kings or princes were always, if they were obviously um, a very big character or something that was a very apparent of them at the time they would be referred to as something of something uh, edward longshanks um you know things like that edward the confessor things like that so i like how they've kept that in the game on this obviously henry the raffle i like that christopher saint Albans. this is great i love it so yeah i'm going to bring him across to try and talk with our princess here sire. this portuguese princess and see if she can uh accept some terms of trade to start with and see if we can and then build it from there maybe so that's what i'm going to do with him um i don't think we can do anything more this turn 599 is a goal we've got left so i'm going to end it and uh, see what happens 
during the end turn phase. Now, now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you're bowing again. You're gonna speak this time. Oh, you are fantastic. Right, you want trade? You read my mind. Fantastic. Yes, I will accept trade with you. Uh, but let me just counter it just a second. Let me just counter it just a second. Will you marry Henry the Wrathful? He's very good. He's very, very good. He's got great command ability. He'll command you in the bedroom. I'm telling you that now. But will you marry him? Very demanding. Oh, is he not well endowed enough for you? Jesus. Right, okay. So we'll have to... Ignore that one for the moment. We'll just obviously go for the trade right, Sam. It seems we have reached an agreement. Right, excellent. So maybe what I can do then is build relations with you, um, and then obviously, obviously over the next few turns, we could build on that because obviously relations is so so now. So maybe uh, as time goes on, we can um, we can then build on that, and then we can probably get some uh, well, alliance well, or something like that. But yes, as I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, as I'm recording this now, uh, which is on the Thursday. The 14th, am I right? Is it, is it the 14th today? It is, yeah. Thursday the 14th. I am recording this now for tomorrow. So you can see it obviously tomorrow. Um, but as I'm recording this, Rome 2 is updating with some new free LC and a new DLC. Now I usually would have recorded my RDI and my Serial Q's Let's Play which are going to be out to you on Thursday. So by the time this is out you'll already have those two Let's Plays out to you. I know you would have recorded them by now, but I've held off. One of the, one of the factors, you know, this is a great thing about having fiber optic broadband now. If you haven't seen that, there's a video updating you that I have now got fiber optic broadband, which is great because it gives me that flexibility to be able to release games or, for, say, say, Let's Plays pretty easily. I can render and upload a video in a couple of hours as opposed to when it was before, when it would take me about eight or nine hours to upload a video. So that's great, the fact it gives me that flexibility. And as I said, usually I would record my um, um, Thursday's parts already. Uh, but I didn't because I held off because, as I say, there's a free LC and a DLC that's come out for Rome 2. The free LC is um, called the August Warriors, obviously, because we're in the month of August. Wow. Um, it added some unique, unique units such as the Hex Bearers, Amazon Raiders, Riders, sorry, and the Scythian Noble Women. So they are free to the game. So they're automatically update for you in the game. So new free LC. And I think significant update to the Swebby roster as well. So excellent. But there's a new DLC. Um, it's called uh, the Daughters of Mars unit pack and it's adding it is adding women warriors to the game wow most advanced action fantastic so we shall hear the cries of women in battle going forward how wonderful is that I can't wait I'm going to get that free I'll tell you that DLC it's going to be about three or four pounds about nine or eight nine or eight dollars US dollars, I should imagine. About the same as the Beast of War DLC, which I've got my res reservations about that DLC, but never mind. But I think this is good. I think this adds a little bit to the game. It gives women warriors. I always said that on my RDI Let's Play. I think it was episode 6 or 5. I said, if we had had some women in this battle now, we would win it hands down. And I can now have that in my Let's Plays. So... Yes, a DLC coming out for you guys, um, so go check it out, and it should look very good. So yes, women warriors to the game. I can't wait. I'll give you more information about what those actual units will be in my uh, Rome 2 Let's Plays. But yes, I'm looking forward to getting my hands, not literally, on the women warriors. So yes, good, excellent. There we go, enough of that. So, Captain Morkar, you shall, shall die them, for your... Treachery. So let's fight this battle now against. Look at him, Henry the Wrathful. You should be fearing your, your days, my friend, Captain Morka. Your days are now numbered. Henry the Wrathful is on your backside. So <laughs> it's all over. Forget it, Captain Morka. Your rebellion will end today. So cavalry, prepare yourselves. We're going to go left in the flanks. We're going to put you in the trees for a second. Hide away over there for one moment. In the middle, of course, we'll go for our main body of the army to push forward down the middle. Hold them off while we then use the uh, the cavalry to, uh, to flank around, of course. Oh, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come over here. That's it. Right, start the battle. Move forward. Oh, I'm thinking I'm on round two then. I'm thinking I can move them all forward in one go. Okay. Right, okay. Group two. 
Group 1. Nuki come out in the trees over there. Alright, we'll put you on to fast forward. Now it looks like Captain Morco is standing his ground in this sort of area of the open field there. He's, he's got a little slope to the right here. Uh, but apart from that, he's very open. Very open indeed. He's very open to my cavalry in a second. So he's standing his ground. He's not going to move. He's got his Flemish pikes here. I'm just going to try and uh, prevent me. But of course, I'm going to have to flank him on this left side here, which he's left open with his armoured sergeants. So I'm happy with that. He's not reacting at all. He's not buying this at all. He's staying firm. Right, Cav. In your own time, we'll move you over. Right, okie dokie. Alright, okay. Cleverly, he's moved his army across. No problem. We'll go and push in. We're going to go straight for his armoured sergeants now. Knights, get your sergeants ready. I don't want to take in our general just yet. I don't want to risk the death of uh, our, our prince. We've, we've lost enough of our... Um, world family at the moment. <laughs> I don't want to lose another one. So, let's charge him. Hit him at the side. Go on, go for it. Go for a charge. Go for a charge now. Go, 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 go. Right, okay. So they're not moving with their Flemish pipe. They're standing firm there. Oh, let's just send them. Let's just send them flying. Come on. Get in there. So they're going to go down. Now we're going to... Uh, Take the cavalry out of there. They've done their shock charge, which I want them to do. So get yourselves out of there, man. Come back. We'll let the uh, we'll let the foot soldiers do the work now. But they're bringing their Flemish pikemen across. Interesting. So we can try and flank them. That will be fantastic. Come on, then. Get yourselves ready to run. And we'll go and hit them. On the side there. Ah, looks like they're bringing out their future knights. So what we'll do is bring those two across. Bring the general's bodyguard, another unit of uh, knights across. Right, we're boxing them in nicely. And they seem to be routing now, which is excellent to see. Right, get back knights. Get back, get back. Get over here. Excellent. Don't want to get embroiled with those 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 pike units. No doubt about it. We don't want to get embroiled with them. Okay, chase those feudal knights down, men. So we can come across with our units now to push in against these Flemish red pikes. Cavalry, go over there. I just don't like it. The fact I can't get used to it sometimes when you you're trying to get the uh, cavalry to automatically charge and you don't. It's annoying. Okay. I didn't ask you to go there. Come on. Hit these uh, knights over here. But there's routing. At, ah, this is good though. Even though we're not going in the right direction I want them to do. There's still routing from every side here. This is great. Okay, come over here. Get these uh, future knights over here. Come on. The enemy are badly bloodied. Excellent. They have lost half their men. Right, come across around the back here. Seem to be uh, trying to retreat back just to regroup and then try and, we'll come, try and come back again. Not to worry though, we'll bring them across. We'll hit them with our knights on the left here. Come on. Where's that Captain Morka? I want him dead. And there he is. Thank you. Perfect timing. They will indeed. That should be it now. The rebellion should be over. But they're not. They're still standing strong because they've... Well, not standing strong. But they've got their pikes to bring in again. So line up infantry. And then we'll bring across our cavalry again to just go on the side of them. Right, okay, cav. Let's go, go around the back here. And then there should be uh, should be curtains then. Oh, they even want you now. They don't even want 
to stay and fight. Look at him. I can hear swords clashing. No, who's fighting now? There's some remaining forces over there. Okay, bring the pikes against the cav. Okay, let's finish them off now. Behold how our yes, wonderful. Let's continue the battle just for a second. Finish them off. God, just going for everything they can here. Come on. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Track him down. Don't let him get away. No, you silly, silly man. Right, okay. Well, that's good. Should be th that should be over. That should be it. Yeah, down there fall. It's all Such over. Is the fate of all who oppose us. Excellent. Well done, Prince Henry. So, veteran warrior. So he's got his new household. Oh, God, another command ability increase. So he's An now order. got even more. Wow! He's got the full full stack command rank wonderful on the battlefield this man is will is always realized he is a true master of warfare well done prince henry you are a true true man of battle my lord orders my lord. we're going to get you to join this guy and i know you're thinking what am i doing don't worry i'm going to bring across and build a couple of town militia town militia there we'll bring the tax rate down just for a second just until we get that militia sort out, because I want them to uh, to be in the army with me. And I'll tell you why in a second. So we're building a town watch there. Good. Are we building here? We're building there. We're building everywhere. Oh no, we're not building in Carnarvon. Let's retrain these men while we can. Um. Oh, we're mine. A mine! A mines of Moria! We'll build it there. We'll get some mines going in Moria. In Moria, in Carnarvon. Okay, York's fine. Okay, that's fine. As long as everything's being built with and built upon, I know things are going in the right direction. Excellent. Okie dokie. How's Admiral Nigel? Have we got anything left, Nigel? No. Sire. Okay. You Can we talk to you again? People. Well, hopefully. Will it, will the things improve? I don't think things will improve now. Until next time, my lord. Okay. Is there a we'll talk else? again, I'm sure. Let's bring him down further do south, that, see if we can speak sir. to anyone else. I cannot um, to, sir. I want you to have a little chat or a little spy on the, on this town here, the Danish uh, town. John oh, Dane uh, in Danish land. Wonderful. You couldn't ask me anything better. No, oh, hey. Careful, John. Be very careful, John. Oh, he's done him. He's done well done, John. You're becoming a very quick favour of my favourite of mine. You are. You're not very good with that helmet, though, are you? You keep having to remember to knock it down, though. But apart from that, well done, John. In the event three, this settlement can hold up for seven turns. Your spies have infiltrated the settlement. There is a 56% chance that they will manage to open the gates if you attack. Right, okay. Okay, well done, John. Thank you. Uh, man of the hour. And who have we got here? Prince Charles, the faction heir of Dane, of the Danish. Right, okay. Wow. And Oh, who the hell are you? Oh. Are you a, are you remains of the Scottish faction? Are you? Are you as what? Are you what remains? I think yes, you are. My Lord. Jo I think. Tomorrow's journey planned out. What I'm going to do is try and see if Christopher will have a little chat to you, see if he can okay. buy you off. And then, Move. ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take on Antwerp. We're going to take on the Danes as we push on east and uh, move ourselves up here. I think that's going to be the key. Who we got there? Oh, Spanish princess. Right. Okay. Interesting. So there we An go. Order. I think that's what we're going to do. 
So things are looking well. Things are looking very well. And what I'm going to do as well is get Admiral Nige to come across to... Oh, we've got these agents, of course. Yes, your These bloody agents. If we keep forgetting they're on that ship. How many can this hold again for four units? Well, obviously that will be when that's built in two turns time. So four units, okidoki. So we'll leave you there. You there, and we'll say you, you, you. And we'll take you as well, and then we'll build, we'll recruit another unit then. Join up with Prince Henry, please. Okay, and then we'll recruit another spear unit there, spear militia. Great. Oh, we've got uh, Blister now. Fantastic. Didn't realise. Awesome. Of course, we've got the Blister Maker, haven't we? Our oh, trusted old Blisters. Right, okay. Well, I'll wait then until they're built before we attack the... Uh, the city. Oh, I thought they were on the boat. They're not on the boat then. They're actually on the in the city still. Gosh darn it. Right, okay. When we get the blisters, we'll get them on board. I can't sight you. Come on, come back, Nige. At your service. At your service. Augustine Plantagenet. Wonderful. John John Clark. Wonderful names they've got here. It is indeed he. Yes. Okay, great. Just great. Hail, King Robert, King. get yourself down here. We shall Come on. Tomorrow, my liege. Yo, how are we doing? Are we still... We've got that brothel. That will increase the public order. And that will hopefully will give us the ability to, uh, to up the uh, tax rate ever so slightly. Taxes win wars, ladies and gentlemen. And we need wars and we need money. So the, Dan the Danes haven't taken it yet. They haven't taken the bait that we could be trying to attack them. Stop giving me bloody candidates for adoption. I don't want them. Oh, right, okay. He, haha, <laughs> right, he's trying to uh, give me the chance to redeem myself. Uh, the Pope has requested that King Robert demonstrate his faith in Persia during the Crusade. The target is Toulouse. You, they are excommunicated as well, are they? Wow. Right, so if we don't, he, <laughs> so they're excommunicated, our, our, our allies, and then he wants to, uh, or wants me to fight them, and then obviously if I don't, I could be excommunicated. Well, I'm sorry, I'll be excommunicated then, because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, in any circumstances, there we go, being, um, being brought into the war against the French, yeah, I'm not in a position to do so. Look at all these construction reports, fantastic. Um, so yes, if I need to be excommunicated, then so be it. You'll probably snuff it soon, Pope. Anyway, so if you do, the Holy Bible may oh, peace, but when it is you wouldn't think they would. You wouldn't think they'd call a crusade against Christian the French at Toulouse, would you? But there we go. Okay. His Holiness the Pope has called a crusade to reclaim the Holy Lands from the infidel. Oh, we've seen this. Okay, right. Okay, dokie. So no, yes, I'll be excommunicated. Then. Fair enough. But you'll probably clog it soon. Wherever the Pope you are, what Pope are you? Pope Gregory, so when you're snuffed out, hopefully I'll redeem myself okay. and the, the next Pope will give me a second chance. But yes, okay. Yeah, everything's looking good. Well, money's flowing well. So, things are looking very good. I'm going to do a practice range there, try and get the um, the archery recruitment better. Um, blacksmith for you. Um, b -b -b market, yes, increasing tradable goods. Yeah, we want a good market, of course, in London, don't we? Center of our growing empire. Yeah, drill square there. All oh, right, okay, that's 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 taken out everything we've got. Have we got anything left to build? Oh, we still got one unit of ballista left. Okay, I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna risk it. I'm going to bring just that one unit across. Nigel, Ship's get over ready. there. Yes, sir. Full sail. As you wish. Leaving the boat, sire. Order. Command me, sire. We're combining into a huge force, sire. We are. Right, Go. okay. Next turn. Let's quickly do this turn. And then we're going to go into the battle. And take on 
the Danes at Antwerp. Oh, hello. What are you going to some from Russia with love, is this? Greetings. Ah, fantastic. Okay. Again, let me just try and counter it just to see. You probably won't. Demanding. It's very poor relations again, so no. Let's just try and let's just try and build them up with trade them. Okay. A well thought out offer, my lord. I will happily accept. Well, you, you offered it to me, but I know what you're doing because I redid Goodbye. the offer. I know. I know. I'm not being awkward. What the hell are the Portuguese doing? At Carnarvon? Oh my god, what are they doing? Right, oh, right, okay. Bride presented. Betrothed. Prince Henry the Wrathful. And in order of Hinckley, so a young woman of the court, has been. Fitted with the uh, one with fit breeding and station have been discovered, so potential partner for this man. Would you like the wedding? Yes, I think I'll well, go for it. Yes, I think we need to because we need to get some sons for the, f for the future royal family. So, yes, we'll accept that. A royal wedding will then pursue. Wonderful. Russia, very poor. Why? I just accepted trade with you for God's sake. Okay, right. I just don't know what the Portuguese are doing. That's really strange. God, right, okay, this crusade is getting ever bigger. We're still not we're still not joining it. Um what's the situation with their diplomacy with me? So so. I, that is concerning me, that is. At least we've got a at least we've got an army at Carnarvon which can hold them off, but what the hell is going on there? Hail really strange. King. Yes, my lead. Keep a close one on that one. But anyway. Enough of this. Can we detack now? Yes, yes we can. To crush the enemy. Here we go. Malige. Here we go. The Battle of Antwerp. Prince Henry the Wrathful against Prince Charles of Denmark. Leave your mercy War shall men. come to the Danes very so quickly. Right, let's fight this up. I obviously will get take this battle, take this city. And then we can push on into the north area of Denmark and beyond up there. As we look to expand the borders. So start deployment. It's pissing it down. Wonderful. I can't hardly see a thing. Okay, so we'll take the walls down with our ballista. Hey, a ballista. Fantastic. Can't wait to use these in a second. So, let's just think about this one. So our spear units are going to be the main key to this. They'll be there in the front line rank. So group one, group the knights, to, the male knights together with Prince Henry down here. And then the uh, second rank of uh, foot soldiers to the rear there. And then the blister at the front. So start the battle. Let's do it. Come on. Bring it down. Let's get it. Yeah, let's get it on flaming shot. Definitely. I want to see these fly through the air. Okay, get your sounds ready. Load up, man. Come on. Okie dokie then. Church in the background there, the Danish church. So what you want to do is take the take the gatehouse out. Shake some of the wall out as well so we can try and slip in two ways and then oh look at this great shot and then we can um, take it from there 0% damage what's going on right let's put it into fast forward right so this is better are we, are we attacking the gatehouse as well the tower's not being damaged in any way no 20% ok come on come on come on Hopefully the, the the walls won't take as long to uh, destroy. I'm starting to get a hole through there though, look at that. See the hole coming through. Poking through there. Right. Nearly done. 80%. Great stuff. And as well, that's why I is doing this, go and check out the new co-op versus campaign that I started up with Alex Sarambler. 
Uh, we are balls. now doing a versus campaign on the Spartacus Rises mod for Total War Round 2. Just started, it released the first part last night. Very good indeed, really enjoying it with him. Should be really good fun. Adds a lot of different challenges to the game that I've experienced before, so it's going to be interesting to see how that one plays out. But uh, yeah, go and check it out. First part to say was out last night. It's, it's really good. You may have already seen it already. If you have, great. If you haven't, you know where to go. Okay, so we're going to get that hole in that wall there. I need to bring some more archers to these battles. I haven't got any, um, any skirmishing units at all at the moment. Okay, come on, walls are down. We'll take the wall out this way as well. We can go in both fronts. 92%. Come on, come on, we need it on, we need it on, we need it on. And of course, we'll take a few of them out while we can as well. Great. Onto Into the bridge, dear friends, once more. Right, okay, we'll do that. I think we'll ha I'm happy with that, actually, considering. So, go through the middle with the spear. And then we'll take our mailed knights across the left side here. Ballistas, hit these guys. They're, they're causing me some problems, actually. Guys, 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 go through that way. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, he's a spear militia. We don't really want. To, no, we don't want to engage with spear militia. With the knights, we'll we'll, we'll go in uh, a different way with that. So come on, push through the gates now. In fact, ballista, I think you do need to build do another hole here, actually. Because I just get a feeling that we could really do with uh, another way in to this one. Well, we continue to push on. Come on. Let's keep going in. Bring these guys into this side just to try and reinforce the numbers on that uh, left side here. And while that happens, we'll get the ballistas to keep moving around with the... Uh, our this wall here. Today, oh great, we've got the gatehouse. Building captured, right, the gateway. Fantastic. Will be ours. Excellent, excellent. This is great to hear. This is great news. Maybe it'd be better if I take it off. Special ammo. Will that work more? Right, the pump pushing in now. Great. Got town militia because we've got guy in that right hand side. Okay, they shouldn't be too hard to break down. Sean, that's it. Even though the town militia just should be able to uh, do some damage to the enemy. 8%, right, okay. Just can't take my cavern. Once we've got the cavern, I think that should be curtains for them, I really do. But they're bringing everything they've got to the front here. Oh, they've got some in your reserve there. It must be there, said General's Bodyguards, Prince Charles over there then. Right, okay. How's this wall going? Come on, need a wall down quickly. They're playing the fast forward a second because I desperately want that wall to be down. Right, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's been some movement in the centre there. Right, we're pushing on nicely. We've crippled them in the centre. But man, don't get carried away. Come over here. Right, is that giving us a chance to push in now, maybe? Right, it has. We'll take the cover on this side. Sod that side in the wall. We'll go this side. Come on. General's bodies guy can come here just in case we need you, Prince Henry. But hopefully we can do this with our knights we've got besides them. Here come the, uh, the calf. On the side they go. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Don't go start running down there. Let's finish off what's happened over here. Finish off what you've begun. Tidy your mess. Okay over there. I don't care about them at the moment. Oh, we've had a charge from the uh, general's bodyguard. Try and see if you can push against them. Right, cavalry. If you could be so kind to... Uh, they have lost Come over this way. Men. I can then try and push you down this way and flank around and hit the general's bodyguard 
on that alleyway down there. That'd be uh, that'd be handy. Or the uh, the rest of you. Look at this. Whoa! Bit of braid dancing carrying on over here. What's going on? Come on. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. How are you doing? The balance's forces is evenly matched. Right, okay. Well, we'll change that right away. We shall change that right now. Okay, peekaboo, you're coming round the back. Right, guys, go, 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 go. Take them out. Fantastically charged in the rear. Fantastico. They're fine to the death, are they? Awesome. I love it. Dutch, a bit of, sorry, Dutch, because they Dutch courage then. <laughs> no, a bit of Danish courage today. But they are routing very quickly. So, excellent, excellent. This is good. This is very good. We're pushing into the town centre now with ease. So, they should be going now. Even the general is facing the death. Soon, Prince Charles will be on the floor. Looking up at the heavens. Blood and water around his face. He shall be... He should be joining the, the gods in heaven. This should be the last few moments of this battle. And take him down. Let's fast forward a little bit more just to uh, finish it off. And we can push on again. Push these guys back to hit the spear militia in the south side of there. Where is Prince Charles? Where are you? You're there. You've, you've hardly got anything on you. Your coat at all. You're hardly bloodied at all. Dear, dear, dear. You've had all your bodyguards take the hit for you while you sat back. Coward. Prince Henry the Wrathful wouldn't have done that. Talking about Prince O. Here you, here you. Over here. Come over here, matey. You can get a taste of the old battle today, I think. Right, where are you? No, don't go that way. Come this way. Come this way, matey. You can come around this side here. Can you can you is there a way in actually? Is there a way in? There is, you gotta take a long route there. You've got to take the scenic route, but uh, you can get in some way. So, still pushing on. Who's gone through there? Look at these guys here. You've got to give them 10 out of 10 just for effort. It's the town militia. They've taken a, taken a sight for the old uh, town militia themselves. The old Dane town militia. They, they've got them. They've got them pinned down over there. Right, okay. Here comes Prince Charles. He's got a bit more blood in his coat now. He realises he's got to fight. Else he could be in trouble. Right, good. Come over here. Keep going round, keep going round. Go down that way there. That's it. Okay, God, are these going to go in a second? Jesus. Surely now. Right, where's our general? He's over there, right, okay. You could have gone that way. What are you doing? What are you doing? Never mind. Go this way. Right, okay. How are we doing here? One left. It's got to be him. It's got to be Prince Charles. There he goes. the enemy general. Him, awesome. Will lose their will to fight. Let's push on now, finish off these spear militia in the centre. And then we all should be finished off. Alright, let's box him in. Come on, Prince O. He sounds involved here. I 
fast for it just a second again. By St. George, I'm yes. Not. Our men no longer command the What? <laughs> Make your mind up, come on. How are we doing? Are we Ooh. 46 men left, okay. Yes, that's it now. Surely now that's got to be the end of it all. Yes, thank you very much. Victory is ours. The Danes have been destroyed completely. There is actually a unit left. Hilarious, where are they? Where the hell are they? The one on the map here. I can't see him at all. Oh, okay. Well, what we'll do is we'll let the timer run out because there's nothing else I can do. I can't find him. I don't know where the hell he's gone. Where is he? Oh, there he goes. He's there. He's there. Oh, God, he's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's, there. he's taking them out. I'm not even realise he's there. One man. Kill him, for God's sake. Take him down. The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain... We're going this time? This there we go. Thank victory. you. The Lincoln Eck. He was there just stabbing them all without them noticing. God damn it. Right, okay, good stuff. 561 lost. Men remaining 963. Prince Charles lost all of his men, including himself. And there we go. Victory is the English today. So down he falls. Antwerp is now mine. We very much need to buy off that uh, rebel general up there. Victory indeed. Victory. Occupy a sentiment. These people now kneel before us. Before us, fantastic. Winning fist, so he's got dread and chivalry, interesting. And more command abilities. Well, he's, got, he's at the full rank of command he is now anyway, so there's nothing else we can do with him. He's 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 in Cloud Cuckoo Land. Let's retrain these men. Well we can. Pair the buildings, the walls. Uh, we'll make um, we'll get some land claims going on there as well, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you very much as always for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, terrible. Yeah, you don't say. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this part today. I have. It's been rather fun, a bit longer than usual, but we've had to ensure that we took out Antwerp and we took the Danes down. So thanks for watching. I hope the Portuguese aren't going to do anything canard, and so that will be next time. We'll see what goes on in episode 9 with that one but thanks for watching this part uh, please remember to comment rate, and subscribe as always check me up on Facebook and Twitter for my latest updates and of course my new Steam group but until next time this is why you spotted for now saying farewell